In this video, we'll be talking about reality therapy by William Glasser. Uh, reality therapy is built on choice theory that posits that symptoms are the result of choices that have been made um, in our lives. Um, so, for example, if I'm experiencing depression, um, that might be resultant of uh, my career choices, um, my choices with relationships um, and how I spend my free time and how I invest my time in my life. Um, that my choices have led me down a path um, that, for example, wouldn't be fulfilling in my life. Um, so what we want to do in this therapeutic approach um, is work with clients on moving towards um, active goals. Um, so it's going to be a very goal-oriented approach um, that emphasizes personal responsibility. Um, with that being said, the therapist will want to keep the, uh, the discussion on the present moment and not focus on symptoms. Um, so it's really focused on what choices have been made um, and more importantly what choices can be made to move forward um, with regard to treatment um, towards fulfilling certain basic human needs. Um, so it posits that um, all behavior is motivated to meet certain basic needs such as belonging, power, freedom, fun, um, and survival. Um, and this is really a genetic component that we gear ourselves and our behavior to go in these directions. Um, so to understand that behavior, we want to conceptualize behavior as the total behavior. Um, and that's more than just what I see. Um, the doing would be that active behaviors that can be seen uh, by the naked eye. Um, the thinking would be those thoughts and those self-statements um, back there that lead to the behavior and even reflection on uh, certain behavior. Um, and then our feelings um, and physiology, right? My emotions uh, as they are within my behaviors and my direction in life um, and my bodily reactions uh, in that same domain. Um, so we have really two major components um, of counseling. Uh, we want to be able to create a supportive, challenging, and non-coercive environment um, that's very therapeutic and uh, has warmth and fosters growth. Um, and then we want to be able to implement specific patterns um, to be able to elicit change with regard to behavior. Um, so these procedures and patterns that elicit change with regard to behavior um, operate on the WDEP uh, system. Um, w for once, um, what do I want to be? What do I want to do? What are my desires? Um, and then D, the doing and direction. Um, and that's really, what am I doing now? Um, where are my behaviors now and my choices now? And then the E is the evaluation. Um, you know, does my current behavior have a chance of getting me to what I really want to be, right? Um, so what we see there, if we stop there just for a second and compare it against another therapeutic approach, um, I, I'm sure that a lot of people watching this can see elements of Rogers there uh, with regard to congruence, right? My behavior matching up um, with my inner desires and me being a congruent person. Um, and then finally, the P, planning for change. Um, so when we do that, we want to be able to select um, goals and really have a, a pretty solid plan uh, with the client. So there's going to be a collaborative process here um, to develop that plan. Um, and then it has to be simple, attainable, measurable, and that's important, measurable. How will I know, right? And that's the same with goals and treatment plans, um, to be able to understand when I get to that goal, what it will actually look like. Um, and then immediate and involved and then controlled, um, right? So we want to make this as concrete and detail oriented as possible, um, with regard to this plan. Um, so that might be one session, and then the next follow-up session, we follow that same system to evaluate um, how close we're getting to our goals um, with regard to our current behavior and choices. Um, so, I mean, that's, there's more to it, but that's really the, the general um, idea of reality therapy in a nutshell. Um, and as you can see, a strength of it um, is that it's very simple, um, you know, in my opinion, um, you know, you could read a little bit of literature and then go ahead and start to implement some of this stuff with clients, um, where other therapeutic approaches, um, and other people I'm sure will disagree with me here, uh, such as cognitive therapy might be a little bit more skills based, um, with regard to Socratic questioning and whatnot. Um, so it's simple. Um, it's, it's easy to follow. It's very objective. Um, and it really lends itself to treatment planning. 
um, which is really nice to have with a therapeutic approach. Um, it can be used with a diverse array of clients because um, of how open it is um, with regard to the model and really considering the goals of the individual, right? Um, the WDEP system focuses directly on the individual's wants um, and analyzes behavior with the evaluation um, to see if they're consistent um, and they line up. Um, you know, a real strong, uh, a big limitation of reality therapy um, is that um, it's simple, um, right? That it doesn't take into account a lot of systemic variables that might exist within the client's life um, that cause some of the current troubles within the client's life. Um, so if uh, a clinician's working specifically and only with reality therapy, um, there's a lot of stuff out there that's going to inhibit choices that needs to be taken into consideration. Um, so other therapeutic approaches um, would be easily integrated to be able to help with that, um, right? Um, you know, it does, it oversimplifies human behavior. Um, but really, you know, um, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing to keep in mind when we're getting into the nitty gritties of other therapeutic approaches such as cognitive therapy, um, the role that choices play in the individual's life and to really be able to focus on some of those choices with regard to goal planning um, and whatever else the client needs um, to be able to help the client move forward uh, to make progress towards relevant life goals.